All right, we're back again. Another quick match. Here we are. We got a game. Right now I'm 3-0, 116 points. I'm versus an Alpine VIP, a Korea player. So let's see what goes on here. All right, so we got Urban Rush. I can tell this immediately by my initial surroundings. Um, it's a very small map. Personally, I mean, I, I like it for both Allied and uh, Soviets. I think it lean... lean I think the Soviets have a, at least a minor advantage on this map because of obviously the better tanks, Rhinos versus Grizzlies, and the shortcoming. The first thing I do is build a few conscripts to, to quickly garrison all these buildings. Prior, the Allied player takes a little longer to get his $200 GIs to the center versus my uh, $100 conscripts. That's just the way the game goes, unfortunately, for the Allied player. It's also mentioned the fact that, the, that in the early game, the Allied player's uh, power plant cost $800, while the Soviet player's power plant only cost $600. That, that's a $200 advantage to the Soviet player, and the implications of that are the speed. In a map like this, I can get my conscripts to the middle about $300 faster than the Allied player can due to the power plant difference in money and the GI versus conscript uh, variance in money. So that has allowed me to capture more of the buildings in the center, quite frankly, without spending as much money. Against the Allied player, you know, a traditional base order on this map is very simple. It's a uh, power plant, barracks, or refinery. What is this guy doing with his? I guess he just scouted me. I mean, maybe I should scout over here in case he edgy rushes me. But back to the base order power plant, barracks, or refinery, war factory, an additional ore refinery, and then uh, a radar. The reason why I like to make a radar versus an Allied player is you get, obviously you get the desolator. Desolator is an important unit um, versus, versus the Allies, especially because of the weakness in the Allied tanks. I mean, a, de a single Desolator can destroy the Allied units. Hopefully we get matched with some uh, higher skilled players soon, because this guy is going to be dead in the next few moments here. I'll show you something that I like to do. What I like to do on this map is, uh, what's going on here? Is he disconnecting? Well, here, what I was going to do is I was I was going to kill this bridge. The reason is because you only have one hut there, one engineer hut there, which uh, controls that bridge. So once you destroy that bridge, and if you control the middle, that means that guy has only one way to attack, which is from the south, and you can really build up your defense there and control the entire middle, which means you'll have full... Uh, governance over the money on the map, and I obviously you'll just camp him to death and outbuild him, and he'll just submit. Anyway, this guy disconnected because he obviously knew that he had no chance in this game. Uh, pretty basic game overall. Maybe you learned a thing or two about Urban Rush. That's the map. Thanks for watching.